welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. For my old subbies, my old babies, welcome back. And this is the second episode of Raw and Unfiltered. The first one was basically just me being vulnerable if you've watched it. Just me opening up so that when we come to the second episode, you guys will be more comfortable with opening up to me or asking me for advice. Um, if you haven't watched my first video, just go to my channel, watch it, it's right there. Right, so we're gonna jump right straight into it because I don't wanna make this a long video, um, but we're gonna try and answer just a few questions. Um, I use the Not Gonna Lie app. Um, it's this app that you can ask questions anonymously and I think that was the best option or the best way to go because I felt like a lot of people opened up about situations and um, they really allow themselves to be vulnerable, especially knowing that I won't know who it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna read a few questions and then just give my advice and my opinion. Um, disclaimer, this is not what you should do. Um, this is more just like what I would do in that situation or how I feel about it. But obviously, someone else may have a different opinion or someone else may feel differently about it as well. We are gonna go straight into it. Here's the first question. Dear Angie, I'm so not loved. Well, can a boyfriend in a relationship love you and still not text you or check up on you for a month? A month? Says you're not a, that's not a boyfriend, that's a that's an acquaintance. That is that is crazy. Like I don't think that's a relationship. I'm not saying talk every day, I'm not saying you know spend hours on the phone, but I mean if you're dating someone, wouldn't you want to like wake up and know how that person is doing? Wake up and you know, have babe, how to sleep, you know, did you have a good night? I just feel like someone who doesn't check up on you or doesn't care about you is someone that's not interested in you and I wouldn't, I would not call him a boyfriend. So please let go of that boyfriend tile. If you're calling me a boyfriend, please let go of it because that is not your boyfriend. He's not even a friend. In fact, he's just someone that you know or someone that takes advantage of you. I don't know the dynamics of the relationship, but I would not consider this a boyfriend. I think that he's wasting your time and you should probably let go and find someone that appreciates and deserves you. I've known this guy for plus five years. Lately, we have been smashing. Okay. We both said we don't want relationships at the moment. Yeah, no, I, I already see where this is going. I'm not liking it. However, he's actually telling me otherwise, but I'm not sure. He has a pet name for me. Whatever I crave, he wants to buy it. He's jealous when I'm around other men, he's friends. And that's where it ends. I don't know, I, I feel like I'm not getting a lot from it because um, the fact that you've known each other for plus five years, I mean, I feel like you guys have probably developed a friendship. And um, I, even though you guys do smash, I don't think it's just smashing, I think I think that you might care about each other a little bit, you know? Like, I think he might care about you as a person and vice versa. Him being there for you, I don't know the kind of person that he is. What if he's just like a caring person and that's just the kind of things that he does, um, but still wants to maintain the whole, I don't want to be in a relationship thing, but he still cares about you. So not too sure. However, I want to know how you feel about it. Is him doing all these things making you want to be in a relationship with him or is he doing all these things making you want to fall for him because if that's the case and you guys still want to maintain the not committing to each other thing then i think it's best that you communicate to him and tell him like yo i mean it's cute that you're you know buying him things that i crave and it's cute that you're always there for me but if if you're not gonna if you don't have intentions rather of taking it further then i think that we should just like limit the whole cuteness and just stick to smashing so that i don't catch feelings then you don't catch feelings i think that's the best thing to do because when things start like this one of you ends up catching and it honestly just ruins the whole um friends with benefits thing you guys end up like you might not even end up as friends and that's pretty terrible so establish how you feel and if you think that this is in the way of or oh, it's going to be a problem later on I think address it but if you want to commit to him and he may want to commit to you in the future 
then yeah continue doing your thing sis and it might just work out so it, it depends all right so this one is a bit longer it's in parts so i'll just read it i met this guy in 2020 before covid on ig okay we started dming and soon exchanged numbers love that for you we spoke for at least seven months okay one day he ghosted me and the next day he posted his girlfriend See, that's why men are trash. Like, <sighs> okay. I was shocked to say the least. Of course you would be. He and his girlfriend broke up the following year and he reached out to me again. We started talking um, again until this year when he ghosted me again and I saw he had another girlfriend. I was heartbroken and fed up, so I unfollowed, blocked, and deleted him. As you should, right? Recently, he made contact again. I responded, but I feel used. That's because that's what it is. It's not that you feel used, it's that it, he is using you. It's like every time we speak, I'm just there to keep him entertained until he finds another girlfriend again. While making me promises of making me his girlfriend, and it's not happening. I asked him about the ghosting and having girlfriends after and he replied with I was talking to them when I was talking to you. This guy is the reason I have trust issues with men and I don't know what to do as he only contacts me when he doesn't have a girlfriend and is bored. I really believe in the whole if he wanted to he would. Like if someone really wants to they would. Like what's stopping him? If he genuinely wanted to make you his girlfriend he would have done that a long time ago. He's had three girlfriends in the time that you have been in the picture and he hasn't made you his girlfriend. That just says that he doesn't want you to be his girlfriend because all three times he's always chosen someone else over you. I feel like he's wasting your time, he's using you and I feel like you know these things because you stated it in the message where you said that I feel like he only texts me when he's bored. I feel used. I feel like it's not that you feel, it's because that you know these things. But you might really like him and you don't want to really acknowledge these feelings. You don't want these feelings that you're feeling kind of be a reality. But sometimes we need to be honest with ourselves and face things head on. And what you're saying is what's happening. He's not into you. He's using you. He has no intentions whatsoever to make you his girlfriend. Because if he wanted you that, he would have done that the before all three girlfriends. I definitely would just advise you to just let it go. Block him like you blocked him before. Unfollow, have no contact. I feel like there are so many men out there that are gonna be very clear about their intentions with you and you wouldn't have to wonder, does he like me, does he like me not? Is he using me, is he using me not? You know, you just gotta know. So I wouldn't waste my time with this guy because he's literally a waste of time. Like, he's wasting your time. You can do better and you will do better. So next time you write me a message, I hope you've moved on from this douchebag because that's what happened in my last one. Hi, Angie. Um, I need a little advice. Backstory, about four years ago, I was in class with a boy. Okay, cute. Let's call him John. Fine, John. John and I didn't really say much to each other, but I mean we knew each other from lectures. I had briefly mentioned to my friends about how cute John was and all that, but then we haven't spoken ever since. Cool. Sometime last week, we were chilling at Chicago's and I saw him. He came over and grabbed me and my friends and he looked really good. Of course he did. Something in me lit up and my crush for him redeveloped. However, the next morning, uh, my friend told me that a guy had DM'd her and she's so excited about it. I was also excited for her until she said it was John. I'm crying. I now don't know how to feel because they're going on their first date. They'll be going on their first date next week and it doesn't sit well with me. Do I tell her not to go because I also like him? 
That is very interesting. Um, okay, first things first. You did you mention to your friend that you have a crush on this guy? Cause um, I, I think you said that you you find you find him cute, and you know it wasn't really a serious thing. It's just like a oh, my bad, so old type of thing. That's how I'm taking it. Um, so when he when he came to come and greet you guys at Chicago's, how was your response again towards your friends? Were you like, oh guys, like so can I have okay off? Was it more like a oh that's the cute guy told you guys for my class? Like was it that kind of thing? Because for me it just depends, eh? Like I feel like if you if you told your friends like oh, if I told one of my girls I'm like yo I really like this person and I really want to pursue this person and something like this happens. Um, my friends shouldn't even, you know, be excited about going on a date. In fact, the date wouldn't even happen. They would be like, no, can't go on a date because my friend likes you. That's what I expect my friends to say. However, I feel like it would be a bit unfair if I haven't voiced how much I like this person. And they don't know whether I like this person or not. So for her to accept um, the date, I think it's more, I don't know, maybe you were not vocal enough. In terms of like how you feel about the person and maybe they just thought that you didn't really think that it's that deep like oh yeah chicken is gonna say okay it's cute so for me uh very tricky very tricky but if it's something that you feel um would really upset you then yeah mention it to your friend just be like hey um i know that you're really excited to go on the date with john and i would really want to be happy for you as well however um remember when i told you that i find him really cute and i have a crush on him i still feel that way i wouldn't want you to lose a friendship because of a guy in fact it's not even a guy that you've been in a relationship with or a guy that she's been in a relationship with it's a guy that you have a crush on it's a very tricky one for me because you can't you can't want to kind of gatekeep who people should date and who people shouldn't date um just because you have a crush so it's very tricky but it also depends on the friendships that you have and how you guys deal with things so i hope that you guys were able to talk about it because obviously the date has probably happened by now um i hope you guys talked about it i hope she didn't go on the date and you guys friendship is great but i don't know please do hit my dms and let me know how that went I'm struggling to move on from someone I saw a future with and still deeply in love. I've been trying to heal for three years, thinking of giving my heart to and soul to the Illuminati so I don't feel the pain. That is crazy. First things first, heartbreak, not easy. If you've watched my first video, you would have seen that I spoke about it and how hard it is. So I completely understand. It's not it's not easy when you when you envision your life with someone and then it just ends. So I totally get it. But it's also not something that you can't get over. And with with like moving on and stuff like that, you need to actively pursue doing that. Like you need to actively put in the work. You need to want to move on. You know, so you need to do things like go out with your friends, you know. Find a hobby, find something that takes your mind over things, write up things down. You need to want it for yourself. And when you do, you later get to a point where really <laughs> you don't even feel a thing. Someone could bring up the person's name in the room and you'd be like, oh, okay. But you need to have to put in the work. When you say you're struggling, I don't know how how much effort you're putting in. And as for three years, three years is a long time. Um, it's a long time. It took me like what six months you know but again people are different some people take a month some people take a week some people take a year you're taking three years but it's okay it's not something that is permanent and i think for you it may feel more permanent because of how long it has been but please do watch my um first video there's a lot of information and a lot of um, advice that i think would help in you moving on and the whole Illuminati thing, like that is scary as hell. Like I don't even know what to say because that's just very dangerous to me. Like why, just because of the man. I, I just feel like a man should not drive you to that extent. Like, no, they're not that special. 
yeah crazy 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 that will that illuminati thing just threw me off i'm not gonna lie because yo no that's scary as hell like i hope you don't get into it i'm i genuinely scared don't get into it it's not even worth it oh i have a similar one i really don't know how to get over my ex right i just can't seem to let go i don't want to be with him because i know i deserve better yet i don't want to be without him either it just sounds like you're you're just used to the person you know when you get to the point in a relationship where you you know you deserve better because of how he, the person treats you you just know that you know what i actually can do better um, but you just don't because you're so used to this person. You're used to the routine. You're used to what you guys do. You know, you don't have to try so hard. You don't have to do much. You're just so comfortable in the relationship. But that's not really what you want. And this is what it sounds like. For me, I think the best thing to do, if you, if you really, really, really want to let go, you need to cut this person off. There should be no communication. There should be no texts, no meeting up, no nothing. I think that method was best um when you try to let go of somebody in the beginning obviously it's extremely hard because you're so used to this person you have a routine but as time goes and trust me time will go you will get over them like you start not even thinking about the person you wake up and you're like oh you've been here this day. I might as well go right. you know you get to that point where you're just like so over it and if you know you deserve better you need to put in the work to get better trust me when you hold on to something old you're not gonna allow something new to come in so you could have good guys coming into your life but they won't stay because you have this person that has a hold of you um and you could miss out on opportunities to have really good relationships or really good guys so honestly really work on that um but i think you can do it i think you'll be fine my friend and her siblings don't know their dad is gay. Whew. Saw him last weekend kissing and touching all over another man. Mind you, mind you, stories have been spreading. What do I do? Do I tell her or stay quiet and keep it pushing so she does so she finds out on her own? I am one of those people that respect people's sexuality and I respect people when if they want to stay in the closet and I would rather people come out when they feel like they want to come out but in this instance it's very tricky because one people are already talking about it which means a lot of people have probably seen it around two you've also seen it so it's not like you're lying or it's not like you're then basing it off what you've heard from other people. So you're not spreading rumors. This is what you saw with your own eyes. A part of me wants to say, maybe her dad's not comfortable with coming out, you know, as 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 as, as gay because of obviously circumstances and how the household was probably set up. I don't know. Um, and I would I would honestly want them to just come out when they feel like they want to come out. But then again, um, you have this. I don't know how your friendship is, but if I had to see my friend, um, dad, and I'm like really, really close to her, I would want to let her know. So it's very tricky um, because you don't want to overstep or you don't want to um, cross boundaries. But at the same time, that is your friend and you do care about them and you do want to let them know. But you don't also want to cause havoc at home because what if like, obviously you will tell them, they go home, yeah, dad, whatever. It's a whole problem at home now and you probably will feel like you're the cause of it. So it's a very tricky situation to be in. I would have said when you had seen it happen, maybe take a picture and then show your friend and be like, I have something to show you. And then you just kind of show it without you having to say anything. I feel like that would have been an easier way for me to do it. Um, but not having to do say something and you also just saw it, you don't have the proof. Like he can definitely be like, yeah, your friend's lying and your friend wants to ruin our family. And then everything kind of comes back to you and your friends manage you so it's a very tricky situation to be in i don't know uh maybe you got like a tiffin then <laughs> what should i say to him so, oh, i can't eat it's, it's very sensitive to my parents in the first place anyway because why would i come to my friend and say what did you miss your past day you know it's, it's uh 
it's tricky i think no i think rather just let, stay out of it i think stay out of it and if your friend probably one day comes to you and says oh gosh someone told me i found out blah 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 then you just explain to her that it's not an easy thing to to tell somebody it really isn't oh i don't feel like it is so yeah stay out of it until it eventually comes out because if you're doing it in public it will eventually come out so that's all i can say regarding that hey guys that wraps up my um raw not filtered questions and answer session those questions or those you guys are going through it you guys are going through it child like sometimes i read these things and i'm just like yo mm -mm. It's, it's very hard but thank you so much for entrusting me um with you know some of your deeper secrets and things that you know and how you feel i really appreciate it and um i'm so excited to see like what this channel still will bring and how we will just unpack a lot of things so yeah thank you guys so much and i hope you genuinely enjoyed the video comment like subscribe whatever you'd like to see next whatever you'd like to talk about next um i'm open for anything and everything as you guys know so yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next video